everyone and welcome to day three the final day of competition here in Budapest I would just like to take a moment to thank the Hungarian Federation and the organizing committee and all the volunteers for an outstanding effort to provide a secure and safe environment for all participants now we begin the day with the women's free and there are eight women within four points of the podium, so it's possible for a lot of movement the leader after the short is the wonderful Jia Shin of Korea who leads the field by five points with such a tight competition, the question remains, is it possible that one of the top podium finishers does not come from Japan or Korea? 38 skaters from 33 nations, a competition for personal best scores, podium positions, or junior Grand Prix final points. The Women's Free begins right now. Welcome everyone to Budapest, Hungary. Final day of competition here as we have a flyover of the facility been home for all of the skaters, coaches, and officials for the past four days. Just about 25 minutes from downtown Budapest, such a beautiful, historic, rich city. As we take a look inside the arena, a little fog settling in. Here's a look at the officials for this event. And for today, for the first time, I will not be joined by Mark Hanrati. He's busy this afternoon joining me live in Gdansk next week. And there is a look at the technical panel for the women's free program. There are 38 entries. And here's a look at the start order for the event.
as I mentioned in the opening, very, very tight competition. There are eight women, actually more, that are within five or six points of the podium and anything can happen. They're all excellent skaters. It'll depend on what they produce in the free program here today. But I have not seen a competition so tight, so close this year on the Junior Grand Prix. We'll see what unfolds a little bit later. While we are in week five, we'll be moving to Gdansk, Poland for week number six. Let's take a look at the schedule that we've lived so far and what's left on the Junior Grand Prix. As we look through the fog into the warm-up session for group number one. There it is. Of course, we started in Bangkok, Thailand. We moved on to Linz, Austria, Istanbul, Turkey, Osaka, Japan. That was interesting. Both Mark and I were working remotely this week in Budapest. We'll move on to Gdansk. Finish out the Junior Grand Prix 2023 in Yarvin, Armenia. Week number seven, of course, the final, the Junior Grand Prix and Senior Grand Prix final in Beijing in early December. We'll move on to the Senior Grand Prix. That'll start in Allen, Texas, Skate America, October 20 to 22nd. Moving north up to my hometown in Vancouver, Skate Canada International, October 27 to 29th. And then to Angers, France, Grand Prix de France, November 3rd to 5th. Cup of China will take place November 10th to 12th. And then we'll go to Grand Prix Espo in Finland, November 17th to 19th. NHK Trophy takes to the ice in Osaka, Japan, November 24th to 26th. And then the Senior Grand Prix Final, December 7th to 10th in Beijing. The ISU Championships, and here's a look at that schedule. Countess Lithuania, that's gonna be an interesting wonderful location to host that championship January 8th to 14th. The ISU Four Continents Championships go to Shanghai January 29th to February 4th. The ISU World Figure Skating Championships in Taipei City February 26th to March 3rd. And of course the ISU World Championships in Montreal, Quebec, Canada March 18th to 24th. Well, it's a bit of a humid day here in Budapest. It's been raining outside this morning, so the humidity inside the rink, that's why you see a little bit of fog. That'll get stirred up by the movement throughout the day. And as I mentioned, particularly in these early groups, these skaters will be looking to get personal bests, and for many of them, that this is their second event, their final Junior Grand Prix event. They'll want to finish the series on a positive note, and improving their scores as they move through, move into their domestic schedule. And on to any other international competitions this season. Instructions being given right there. We mentioned several times that you'll see more discussion or instruction being given by the coaches in the juniors than you would ever in the seniors. Of course, that seasoned, experienced senior skater is pretty much focused. They know exactly what the game plan is and not too many surprises for them, but these young juniors are still learning a new environment, different skaters on the ice. Sometimes they get off the pattern. 
little uncertain. Come over and get a few words from their coach. Guidance. Nice triple sow, double toe. In the last minute of the warm up. His confidence booster. And we've seen some pretty good skating. This is the first group, so they're at the bottom of the results in the short program, but you can see some nice triple jumps being done here. It was not always the case in the juniors that the depth of the field is getting stronger. Not in all cases, but been a, certainly an improvement over the years. And here we go. The women's free program starts now. 38 women in the field. As we take a look at skater number one. Represents Greece, 18-year-old Despona Katsuru, 38th in the short program, 29th at the European Youth Olympics in 2022. <laughs>
18 year old Desmona Katsuru from Greece. First skater out in this event. A little moist and foggy out here. It may affect some of the breathing of the athletes. We'll see how it affects them throughout this event. A little bit of a tough start with some single jumps and they got some of the doubles done a little bit after that. Let's take a look. There's the single flip, double toe loop. Good quick reaction to get into the double. Wins double lots, wasn't sure it was gonna work, but she gets it around. Up into the double toe loop, squeaks out the landing. And double south cow. That was nice and clean up with the single axle. That was good. So those were some of the positive jumping passes in the program. There's a change combination to spend a little bit later in the program. And, uh, just a level one, maybe one of the four features, but pretty much just gaining experience here at the stage of development this young woman is at. Popped a couple of the jumps, got into the doubles. It's so important that the skill of learning to spin quickly both on the ice and in the air is something that young skaters are learning at a much more rapid rate than before. And it's not just your ability to jump high, it's your ability to rotate quickly. And that is a skill that is required to off ice work. A lot of attention to detail. quite heavy here. They said the air is pretty thick. The program score, 39.77. We just want to get to Rue from Greece. First skater out in this competition with a total competition score of 60.86. Our next competitor represents Peru. 16-year-old Sarami Tanaka, 34th half of the short program, third Junior Grand Prix season. So certainly has some experience on the Junior Grand Prix. 62.96 personal best. She'll need just a 32.05 to take the lead. She'll skate the free program to Avatar.
Rami Tanaka representing Peru. Had a good skate going there, just a fall right at the very end. And you can see her just shaking her head as she's coming off the ice, and chuckling a little bit. But nicely done. A good skate overall. Lots of doubles. Here's the first double axle attempt. Pops it in singles, shoving that takeoff. But watch here. Much better. Bites the takeoff edge, gets airborne, gets around that jump. He's under rotated the judging system, but certainly better mechanics. And here's the double flip. Double toe loop. Nicely done. Covers some ice in the air. Little bit of a stumble there, but gets up into the double lutz without any problem. They want to just get the posture a little bit straighter and stronger, stretch the free leg out, going into the lay back. You can see the traveling across the ice that is going to reflect in the GOE, the quality. So that lay back spin, although a level three was a minus 0.24, then double flip a little bit later, double loop. Good quick reaction between the two jumps gets that done. You can see a smile on the face. She's happy with this program so far. Our lower cameras are below the fog. The higher camera is above the fog, so you have different views. But that was a much better performance for Sarabi Tanaka. Personal best is 62.96. You may not reach that here, but a lot of the double combinations, double jumps were done well and getting that second double axle accomplished. Eleven elements in the program, with six of them under review. Anxiously waiting. Of course, we've talked about this that the earlier groups, generally speaking, take a little bit longer for the officials. There's more under rotations and perhaps positions in spins and a lot of detail to look at in order for them to be consistent on every skater. Those skaters that are a little bit more iffy on some of the elements, they need to take a look at the replay. That takes a little bit longer, of course, as they process the detail of that element. And now all six of the elements have been looked at and have been cleared. Free program scores for Sarami Tanaka of Peru. 49.94. Program second skater out with a total competition score of 78.76. And that puts Sarami for the moment into first place. The next competitor represents Romania, 14 year old Anna Stratulet. First Junior Grand Prix season, 35th after the short program. And she will need a 50.02 to take the lead at this point in the competition.
Anas Tutulet from Romania. Well, a lot of pop jumps that were followed up by doubles in combination. Just rushing the timing of some of those elements. We'll take a look at them right here. There's the double axle at the top of the program. Really nice double axle. Second one, mechanics were good, just over rotated it. Here's a attempted triple toe loop, two foot landing, and landing on the quarter as well. But you can see that she can rotate, pops it into a single, then follows up by double toe double loop. Another here. Oh, no, double salco, that was fine. Rotates very easily in the air, that's not an issue. Just popping some of those jumps. You look at a really nice back camel position. This change combination has been in the level three, so three out of the four features. The plus, small plus GOE. Remember the GOE is the grade of execution, that's the quality for the elements, so the difficulty is measured by the number and the quality of the GOE. Lots of pop jumps there, and, and that's very costly, of course. Certainly capable of doing them all. You saw that nice double axle, no problem at all with rotating in the air. Very smooth, good, straight, strong position. But just too many pop jumps where they were intended to be a double or a triple, and they end up to be single. Costly. It just becomes a little bit of a habit. It's a hard thing to break as a coach when your skater just starts feeling uncomfortable and then popping the jump. And you have to break that habit. Otherwise, it'll follow them throughout their career. program scores for Anna Sotulet from Romania, 56.65. That's first in the free program so far with a total competition score of 85.40, and that will put Anna currently in the first place at the stage of the competition. And of course, she's a little disappointed with the pop jumps. Lessons learned, perhaps it'll help her throughout the rest of the season. Certainly capable saw that in the double axles and even the triple it's all there next competitor represents armenia sofia karapatanyu 13 years old 37th after the short program she needs 58.66 she'll skate to the soundtrack of time by hans Zimmer.
from Armenia, Sophie Karapetan. What a deceiving skater because you think that, well, this is, skater has a lot of challenges and troubles here. Then all of a sudden she whip off a beautiful triple salkow. Look at that. Great lift in the air up with the double toe loop. No problem. And then here's the double lutz. A little wonky up into the single axle double loop. Two foot landing. Takes a fall. Second triple salkow. So nicely done. Nice and straight and tight in the air. It's all there. The mechanics just not enough, perhaps, experience yet to pull those triple and double-double uh, combinations off in the program at this moment on a consistent basis anyway. Certainly, individually, yes. It's changed this at the end of the program in at a level three. This is just one feature. And two falls in the program. Some really nice skills, but experience gained here. It's always an athlete's dream chasing that or pursuing that elusive clean program where all the elements work, all the jumping elements work well. And you see when they do manage to execute that, they come off the ice with such joy because it's so difficult to do. work by the coach, encouraging words, but this young woman has some really nice skills, just needs lots of program run through, so you can skate on automatic pilot. Pretty good strong back, some nice extension to the landings. Okay. 61.87 for Sophie, that is first in the free program, for the total competition score. 88.62. So we look very happy with the score. It certainly has a lot of the skill. Just need to apply it all the way through the program, which is not easy to do and takes years to learn. Much more in front of this young woman. Just have to put the time in. Next. Our next competitor, 16 year old Nayla Festic. First Junior Grand Prix season. She's 36 after the short program. She'll need a 60.56 to take the lead. Skating the X Genesis Symphony on use.
or 16 year old Leila Thestek. Some beautiful use of her upper body in the choreography. Very sensitive and soft. And the jumping, of course, the wrap free leg. We'll take a look at that in some of the detail. There's a single axle, no problem. Three jump sequence. And gets the free leg back and stretches really nicely. A good start to the program. Nice spiral, you can see the use of the arms. There's some hand work as well. Watch the free leg, you can see how high it is. So it slows the rotation down for doubles, not a big deal. You can get all the way around still. That free leg goes up high, slows it down, makes it a little bit warped, makes it difficult to rotate efficiently in the air, or quickly in the air. Really nice back camel position, great flexibility. You see centered right there, change combination spin. This was in just at a level one, so missing features for points. A little bit later in the program, there's the double lots, hands above the, that was more efficient, that was better, we're still a little loose with the free leg, but quicker in the air, and then finishes up with the change combination spin, where she gets three of the features. Highest degree of difficulty with level four, so she gets three but the element is in a minus GOE. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 11 elements have a minus GOE, which means that the quality of the execution was lower. She loses some points on that, but she gains them on the degree of difficulty in the case of the last combination, but she gets a level, level three on that. It's always a difficult strategy as you work with the skaters that love the work in the Kiss and Cry here. The smile is what do you work on? Simplicity and quality or going for more difficulty? Simplicity and quality, you're going to get your points on quality, but you'll lose some on simplicity. Or you go for difficulty and you get more points if you manage the difficulty, but you'll lose on quality. This is what happens generally in the juniors. and the seniors, of course, it's a little bit more even. There are better skaters at that time, a little stronger. 51.90, and that is third in the free program. With a total competition score of 79.97, and that'll put it currently in a third place. Just processing that all, you can see just her eyes rolling a little bit, thinking, okay, you know, what did I just go through? How do I feel about this? What could I have done better? Oh, I wish I could go out again. And quite often that is the way with the Alphys. They just want to go right back on the ice because they know they can do better. If you take a look at the start order for group number two, taking to the ice for their six minute warm up. I think if you ask any of these skaters or any skate that's in the competitive environment. And one of the things they love about the sport, and they may not articulate that you know, perfectly in the beginning because it's hard to understand until you're a little bit older. But one of the things you love most is that this sport is so difficult that the joy of accomplishment on any one element is such a high that you want to have that again. So you pick, the next, you pick the next jump that you want to learn, or the next rotation you want to be able to do, or the next position you want to be able to get in. There are so many factors in this. It's not about how fast you can run from the start line to the end, because it doesn't matter how you look doing that, or what you feel doing that, it just matters how fast you get. But in this sport, there are so many skills along the way in that three and a half minute program. It's not just about speed. It's not just about one jump, it's about all the different jumps, all the different spins, all the different positions. There's a huge list of items and every time you accomplish a higher level in an element, it's a thrill. And it's what keeps you coming back. Because you know it's so hard, but when you do it, it's such a great feeling. It's one of those things in life that real, you know, people who've been 
in figure skating all their life, as I have, is if there's one thing you would want the world to know is how hard the sport is. Because you can't know that by looking at it. You know, these are fit young people. They're dressed wonderfully. They skate to beautiful music. All those nice things. But the reality is the physicality of the sport is incredible. But it doesn't look like it. When I suppose that's part of the magic. Now we start to see in this group, the third group, as part of the second group, a little stronger skaters, a little bit more experience perhaps, a little bit more speed you'll see. And that will just get stronger throughout the event. Skaters who may have skated a little longer or have more ice time or are in more intense training. A number of these athletes, of course, are in high school or in university, perhaps. And how you juggle your day, <laughs> thinking about where the elements are going, where do I start? Got the plan now, let's go out and and warm up. So everybody's a little bit different. Some skaters may have a lot of ice time which they can work with, and others very little ice time. So all the list of items that I talked about that you want to learn along the way might be slower with those who don't have a lot of ice time. So everybody, at least in juniors, is at a, on a different playing field. But in seniors, it's more an even playing field. triple loop there, I had to rotate it, but good mechanics, nice and tight and straight in the air. As a coach, you only have a few seconds for a few words. You better pick them wisely and hope that the skater, your student, hears them and applies them. It's such a difficult part of the job of coaching. Teaching is the easier part. You have a plan and you have time to work with the students, but in competition, you have a six minute warm up. And when you see things go wrong, you have to somehow find the very few words, because you don't have a lot of time, that might help to shift the mind or the thought process of the student. And sometimes when the skaters are feeling a little bit nervous or unorganized, they're looking for those few magical words, words that will pull them together. And the words might be sent, but they may not be received. So it's so complicated coaching in the competitive environment down there. I would say, I would have to say it's a little easier in seniors because the skaters think a lot on their own. Maybe there's more at stake, for sure there is, but in juniors, way more complicated. You're not quite sure where the student is at. They're young and what do they understand? What do they not understand? What do they need emotionally? What do they need practically? Beautiful Beethoven there. Represents Poland, 15-year-old Veronica Furlan, 29th after the short program. Third Junior Grand Prix season, 24th last season in Ostrava. 53.47, she'll need that to take the lead. 
Personal best was 74.88. That was back in 2021. Just get the free program to just walk away by Celine Dion. Well, you can see by that big smile at the end of the program that Veronica Ferlin from Poland extremely thrilled with that performance, and so she should be. Wonderful quality on the jumps, very organized with the jump positions. A little slow in the spins. Let's take a look at some of these elements here. Look at the arms back and lifts way up into the air. Beautiful, beautiful double axle, soft knees in the landing stretch free leg it's exactly what you want and here is a look at the triple toe loop changes feet straight push straight up a little bit on a lean on the landing has to take a fall but doesn't let that bother her the rest of the way very solid here balanced on the takeoff edge soft knees on the landing double toe double loop three jump combination and just beautiful watch how soft the knees are pushes straight up tight in the air Arms right against the body core. Watch the arms lift up into the double axle again. Soft knees, big height. 
great ice coverage across the ice and the jumps as well. Really excellent technique, wonderful execution here in the free program. A little slow in the spins, positions are okay for Junior, but this young woman can certainly do better. Strong skater, much more to come. Her personal best, 74.88. Great performance. And this is a 74.94, just a little shy of her personal best. And that will put Veronica in the first place with a 110.10 for the free program or for the competition. Big smile, pleased with the performance, and so she should be. Our next competitor is just 13 years old from Thailand. Pepita Lurpuriwan. 30th after the short program. Very first Junior Grand Prix event. Big experience for this young woman skating to across the violet sky. How lovely was that? 
13 year old Kumpita, third pretty one. Just beautiful, so thoughtful and careful and delicate with every move. You see the double lutz, double toe loop, start the program, double toe loop, three jump sequence. The combination, there's the double salkow. Good stretch of the free leg, patience. And up to the double axle. This is under rotated, but still great effort. Back down the ice for the double lutz. Wonderful straight, strong back. So important to see this layback side position here. That's a feature changing to the back position right there. Grab the blade, pull it up. And this is the level three. So just missing one feature there is into the Beelman. A little bit of traveling there. So that's gonna go into the minus for the GOEs. That's the quality score. Setting up the double axle. Looks back at the right hand to check the shoulders up into the air. It's all the way around. Nicely done. You can see here just a brief moment as she turns right there. Beautiful look on her face. Calm and in control. And that's pretty amazing for a young 13 year old. First time out in the Junior Grand Prix. Double loop. Great stretch. The free leg. Then in the final spin, the flying camel loses a little bit of a balance there, regains it, turns up towards the ceiling. That flying change combination spin in the level three. Really charming, charming young skater. Very bright future, just 13 years old. Congratulations to Pepita in Thailand. Sixty-five point six one for Pepita. That is second in the free program with a total competition score of one hundred point one four. Great job, bright future. Looking forward to see her again. Well, our next competitor. Comes from Hungary, born in Debrecen, 18-year-old Cynthia Zabel, 31st after the short program. She'll need a 76.53 to take the lead as she'll escape to I Put a Spell on You and Candy Man.
18 year old Cynthia Zabo from Hungary. That was a really solid skate. Had some challenges in the short program, but has to be pleased with that. Got tired part way through the program. You can see just slowed down a little bit, but didn't back off. It didn't back down. We'll take a look at some of the elements in the program. But great effort. There's the triple toe off the top of the program. That's under downgraded, of course. Two foot. There's the triple sow cow. Under rotated, but a little bit better. There's the double lots, nice and clear, has to do a three turn. And this was good here, the double axle all the way, nice and clean in the judging system. So got a little stronger part way through the program. But then started to fatigue a little bit. There's the double flip, Euler, double sow. Right near the end of the program, another double flip here. And just couldn't get into the double toe loop, just did a single. So out of the 11 elements, nine are under review. Just checking the rotation, particularly on the jumps. There's the change combination spin at the end of the program. Just in level one, probably just really tired. You can see her winded at the end of the program. So just not getting all the features that she might have planned in that one element. And you can see a little slower near the end, but a smile. Happy with the program, but tired. Now catches her breath. Nice, nice job. Here at home in front of friends and family, always a little pressure. So one of the jumps was downgraded, the other was under rotated, but everything else was accomplished. And GOE scores, composition in the fourth. Presentation in the threes and skating skills in the four. So but really for each individual skater, you take a look at where they are at. And how does this score sheet compare with previous score sheets in the season or later in the season too? Fifty-five point eight seven. That is fifth in the free program. The total competition score of eighty-nine point four five, and that'll put Cynthia Zabo currently into third place at this stage of the competition. Our next competitor also comes from Hungary. 14-year-old Martina Petro-Mejo. First Judy Grand Prix event, 33rd after the short program. And she'll need a 77.99 to take the lead. Skate the free program here at home to raise me up.
Valentina Petra Major from Hungary. What a beautiful, wonderful posture. Straight and strong back, elegant in presentation, and very determined throughout this program. We take a look at the double axle at the top of the program. Slow in rotation, didn't get the free leg back and has to take a hard fall, but comes right back and determined. Triple toe loop all the way around, double toe loop. Back in the game, well done. And then this triple loop. Nice. Gets her balance throughout the program. A little bit later in the triple Salcow, Euler, double flip. She's quite focused and knows where that body's gonna be at the takeoff and very organized. Certainly some more speed will help. A little bit more freedom with that, but that'll come in time as your confidence confidence is gained. At this stage of the development of those triples, you have to really make sure that you're in the right position to take off. And you can see the focus and the concentration absolutely was there. Even when there was a mistake, she was able to come back and get organized. And well done. There were seven elements under review, so that takes a little bit of time for the techno panel to go through that. The triple loop was under rotated. First double axle was on the quarter, it took a fall on that. The triple salka was under rotated, and there was a fall on that as well. So they're just making sure that all the details, small as they might be in some cases, are accurate. Level two layback spin, the level three change combo spin at the end of the program, and the level two flying sit spin. So certainly some points to be made in increasing the levels of difficulty in the spins. And that just takes more patience. This young woman certainly has a lot of flexibility and strength. It's not an issue, but you have to be patient to make sure that you hold the positions long enough It's so interesting and you know, young people put so much pressure on themselves, no matter whether it's high school or sports teams or whatever it is. And so it's always a bit of a up and down emotionally as you travel through high performance sport as well. 65.23, and that is third in the free program. The total competition score of 97.35. That'll put Martina currently in third place. One skater to come in group number two. There is our final skater in group number two. 17 year old Zeynep Naz Dogan from Turkey, Turkey, 32nd after the short program. Need is 77.21 to take the lead.
Well, you can see the fog that the skaters are currently skating in, so it's a little heavy air. 17-year-old Zinep Znazdugan from Turkey. They had some good elements. And you can see her coming off the ice. You know, pretty happy with the skate. Here's the triple Salkow. And you can see the under rotation on the landing. A number of elements under review, of course. Watch the double axle, free leg and arms lift up into the air. And that'll be on the quarter or under rotated. There's a three turn. Strong, but needs to rotate a little bit faster to get around those jumps. There's the double Lutz, no problem. Tries to get into a double loop, but opens up the left side and can't push yourself straight up into the air. There's the change sit spin. This is in level four as the feature right there, the leg behind, and then the difficult exit as well. Risky, but difficult. Gets the level four on that spin. Flip double loop a little bit later in the program. And final flying camel spin in a level three, so missing one feature on that element. So I had some good moments, some struggles in other areas, but this is all part of the learning process. This sport is so difficult, there's not many people that could do it, and the process to getting every detail taken care of and trained and so that you're comfortable and confident in competition is years and years of training and lots of failures Lots of reorganization and getting yourself in order to accomplish the next time out in competition. You only compete so many times every year, but you train for many hours, but you don't put that into the stress of competition very often. So that's why competitions are so valuable for experience and many of the times the experience isn't a very happy one because it's it's hard but as the comp as the programs become a little bit more consistent and you feel a little bit more comfortable the competition is obviously a little bit more enjoyable as well and you know some people may ask well why do you put yourself through that <laughs> It's true, I asked myself that many times when I was skating. But you just love the moments when it does all come together and it's so difficult that when the goal has been achieved, that high is so strong that you don't mind the journey to get there. And you go back at it. Let's take a look at the scores. Pre-programmed 52.20, that's seventh for Zanep in the pre-program with a total competition score of 85.1. Zero, and that'll put her currently into seventh place overall. And there is a look at the standings so far. In just a moment, we'll see the full standings. And usually, I have my colleague, partner in crime, Mark Hanratty, to throw to the ice resurfacing videos. And that's on me today, as a number of the duties will be as we take a look at the standings so far after two groups. So we're going to take a look at the video of one day with Ingrid Walter, technical controller. And this is the first time we've ever done that on the ISU. So it's a very interesting look at the inside of an official at an event. And then we'll do one day with Robin Ponsard, coach, French coach, of course. And a look at the world promo for Montreal. That will be one interesting event. We hope you enjoy that. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> You're not sure we're perfectly normal. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure yesterday either. <laughs> After the event. Hi, everybody. I'm Ingrid Charlotte Walter. I'm an ISU technical controller for Ice Stones and an ISU referee for Ice Stones singles and pairs. And my job here in the Junior Grand Prix in Linz is the technical controller for Ice Stones. So we are here sitting together, the so-called technical panel. Um, we have the job of 
looking at the elements all the couples, dance couples have in their program and in finding out what kind of features they do because the elements themselves can be made more difficult and get a higher value by having more and difficult features. Exit. I question the split. Yes, question mark, no. So this is a lot of material one has to take in very, very quickly. And that is why we sit in the practice time and try to find and see what they are doing. We write that down in a kind of shorthand, which every person devises for him or herself. For instance, I draw a lot. You can see that later on on the sheets we have, um, whereas others just do it in numbers, which frightens me, I couldn't do that. But there are number people, so that would be fine for them. And when it comes to the competition, we transfer the elements and the features onto the competition sheet. Of course, no level at all, because we have to see what of what could be there is really performed. And that is then what we mark down. But it speeds up everything very quickly. Usually we have two technical specialists. These are my two colleagues, Roxanne and Helen. And the one calls mainly the men and the other mainly the woman. And if we have, for instance, a spin in which both are involved, it is the specialist one who does the call of the level. Um, also to the team, belong the data operator. He puts in the levels and the elements we call into the program and the um, software so that the judges on their judges stand get the elements in the right order on their screen because they have to evaluate the quality. And we have a video cutter of course because we have one whole program of three to four minutes and we just need the little clips which are also used to review by the judges and by us, whatever is shown. And so the video cutter cuts as soon as we say, this element is coming up. That is one of the technical specialists always says, next element, and then the element they know, they can prepare what they have to cut. And then the specialist one, says the element when it starts. As soon as the program is finished, again, the data gives us the number of elements. Also, on which we called a review. A review is something we call when we are not quite sure whether it was really seen. What we saw, for instance, we have two people on the ice and in a step sequence, one of them could well hide the steps of the other by just being there, obviously. So then we would need, as an example, a review to see whether we can really have a look at the other steps. If not, we go with what we have seen and go always with the skater. I think that completes the whole process. I'm afraid it was more than three sentences. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we can cut. A message and he said uh, I was just thinking you don't have a Swiss jacket no way you go on the kiss and cry with the French one <laughs> I like the white around where <laughs>Hey guys my name is Romain Ponsard I'm a figure skating coach for France and Switzerland and I'm here in Osaka and I wish I could go back to my junior world and get on the ice and do a programs but I'm here as a coach now it's my first season coaching and I really enjoy it and really excited to be here in Osaka and we will uh, today uh, have the free program uh, run through uh, for my skaters and first time touching the ice here in Osaka so we'll see how it goes François j'ai fait tomber le téléphone <laughs> merci what I'm looking for on this kind of practice is first adapt to the ice ring because it's a new environment for the skaters. Also do the pattern of the program, to always to adapt of the size of the rink and the atmosphere of the rink. Always when you do a long travel like Japan, you arrive to the first practice and you feel like your stamina is so bad always. 
So it's important to have it running one first time. And after we went through all the jump, uh, one by one and on sections like in the program. And after that, we finished with a spin to show uh, all the level uh, to the controllers that are watching the practice. So now it was supposed to be lunch break, but he wanted to watch the practice of the men, so his competitor. So this is going to be our lunch break from the skating lounge. And we are actually lucky because in Japan the food is really good. So we will enjoy uh, the food and keep watching the practice of the men. <laughs> So here I have two different types of skater. I have Eugenia, that is her first Junior Grand Prix, so she's pretty stressed about it. And I try to bring it to her as just getting experience that we didn't expect really something from her beside to uh, enjoy this experience. And on the other side, we have uh, Francois Pito from France that is trying to go to the final, Junior Grand Prix final. So he got second to his first Junior Grand Prix in Bangkok. And now here he's gonna try uh, to get on the podium to be able to participate at the Junior Grand Prix final. And with him, it's an approach where it's more about confidence and trust in himself and just to show one more time what he does at practice and not to do more because he's the kind of skater that wants to try the day of the competition to show more and try when you do everything to relax, go deep in your knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're a little bit stiff, that's why I relax. Just enjoy the moment, okay? I cannot enjoy it, I'm too nervous. And pick up. You can go for chopper. Okay, good job, Avina. I'm proud of you. Really well handled. Yeah. I want to have this. <laughs> We are here to celebrate the first inaugural World Ice Skating Day. And World Ice Skating Day is a single day specifically to celebrate the fun and the joy of ice skating across the globe. Lots of fun, lots of smiles, and a great way to celebrate this first day of World Ice Skating.
Welcome back to Budapest, Hungary. Final day of competition, the women's free program on right now. As you can see, the air has cleared up a bit, a little intel. I mean, then they went out and actually bought some fans. It was very heavy fog in the facility. Still, you can see a little bit. The judges were having a little bit of a challenge to see everybody clearly. And you can see a little fog still remaining, but certainly not as bad as it was. And the fans are starting to blow that up into the ceiling and, and the windows hopefully will open and keep the air a little bit more clear than what we saw in the first couple groups. So for those of you just joining us, my partner Mark Hanratty is off today. So I will be covering both the women's free program and the free dance and the medal ceremonies a little bit later today. Final day of competition here in Budapest. We move on to Gdansk where Mark and I will join together on site for week number six and seven in Yarvin. So that should be a lot of fun.
and we're in the last minute of warm-up for group number three. And just with that foggy environment here, also the effect that it has on the ice it is not as smooth, we'll put it that way, or I mean, the ice is always slippery, but especially with those knee slides and whatnot, when there's a little bit of frost on the ice through moisture, it just doesn't carry you quite as far. The conditions change. And I mentioned they had bought fans to come into the building and push the fog up into the ceiling. We'll see if that has an effect over the next few groups. A good effort here by the group of volunteers. Our first competitor represents the Netherlands. 17-year-old Yolanda Vos, 28th after the short program. First junior Grand Prix season. She'll need a 74.26 to take the lead at this point in the competition. She'll skate to Golden Eagle by Havasi. Seventeen-year-old Yolanda Vos from the Netherlands. 
coached by Yorick Hendricks. Eleven elements and seven will be under review, so some work to be done by the technical panel as they take a look at the rotations on the jumps and the spins. There's the triple loop at the top of the program. You can see just under rotation of the landings. And this double axle here just pulls it around the corner and just manages to push the free leg back to stabilize the landing. Again, the GOE quality losing points on the quality of that element gets it done. And look at that spin position. There's the change of edge. There's two features right off the bat. And then the change of foot. And of course, this is a level four. Two of the three spins of this program were level four, so the difficulty was high. And a few of the elements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the elements were in the minus GOE. So just quality items or issues in that double axle later in the program. Get a little tired then, but really comes back with a nice double lutz, double loop, double loop. Good, quick response on the landings of those jumps to get up into this second and third one. And this spin right at the end of the program in at level two. So some progress made and some cleanup on the landings for sure. The GOEs are going to be important. Yeah, eight of the 11 elements are in the minus GOEs. So whatever points were gained with a base value or the degree, a higher degree of difficulty might have been balanced out with lower quality, of course. So you want high difficulty with high quality, but if you can't get the high difficulty you're better just to get the high quality whether they're doubles or more simplistic spins but go with good quality that's where the points are in the GOE tell when you're sitting in the kiss and cry when they're taking a long time they are looking at the details on the landings and the spin positions and rotations of course so you know you're gonna have to take a look at that report card and it's all broken down for these athletes exactly what they get on each element and even though in some cases they may have thought they got all the way around or thought they held the position long enough it is looked at and reviewed and the detail when they take it back a look themselves they realize oh yeah I, I was a bit short on that so it's a good process to go through 68.94 that's second in the free program for Yolanda with a total competition score of 104.79 and that will put her overall at least for the moment into second place There is our next competitor, rep representing the Slovak Republic, Vanessa Samokova, 16 years old, 24th after the short program, second junior Grand Prix season. She needs a 69.02 to take the lead. Personal best, 76.76. She'll skate to Forbidden Love.
16 year old Vanessa Samokova from the Slovak Republic. A good skate for this young woman. There were some touchdowns. We'll take a look at that. Too deep, but stood up on the elements throughout the program, skated with heart and passion, particularly through the career sequence. We'll look at that as well. Looks pretty happy coming off the ice. Here is the triple lutz. Wow, really nice and clean. So no problem there. We'll watch the landing of the flip. Watch on the ice. There it is. The free foot touches the ice. Free turn into a double toe loop. It's okay. Keeps on the feet. And then the next one. Watch the landing. Two foot landing there as well. Up into the double toe loop. And the same thing here as well. And two foot landing there. So that is where some of the points will be missed on the landings of those jumps. But the good news is the takeoff, the technique throughout the element for the most part was pretty solid. This double axle, Euler, double Salco, no problem. Beautiful stretch. Look at the power and speed and the ice coverage here, the passion of the movements right to the music. Lovely. I think she was fueled by a pretty good skate to that point of the comp in, in the program and just had the energy to be a bit more dramatic in her movements as she was right at the end as well. There you go, nice job. Season's best was is 76.76. Her personal best is 83.57. I think this program may beat both those scores. That was a strong performance by this young woman. I think she'll be pleased to just get those, that free foot off the ice, clean that up a little bit. And just add to the points, that's for sure, and the overall quality. Free program scores for Vanessa Salakova. Season best, 85.85. You can see she's nodding her head saying, okay, that's pretty good. That's first in the free program. Total competition score, 126.94. That'll put Vanessa currently at the moment in the first place. Nice job. And there is our next competitor, 18-year-old Anna Flora Komar Jepsen from Denmark. Third Junior Grand Prix season, Danish Junior National Champion. 25th after the short program. I need an 86.61 to take the lead. Escape the free program to I'm Tired by Labyrinth.
18-year-old Anna Flora Komar Jepsen. This is a skater that provides an example of what makes our sport so beautiful to watch. You're watching the Junior Grand Prix, watching some triple jumps and double jumps as well. But this skater was committed to the music, understood the story, understood the emotion that she had to put through the choreography. As we look at some of this movement right off the top, look, she didn't just skate into the first element. She's taking her time, the phrasing of the music, and the emotion, the hands on the face, the inside spread eagle, all the details that makes this program richer than others. There's the triple toe loop, a little rough on the landing, there's the three turn, so now we get to the sport part of it. There's the triple sour cow, a little forward, up into a single toe loop. So she's gaining some points, losing in some quality points as well. And then a little bit later, the triple toe loop. That was nicely done into the double toe. Good points earned that in that one. And here you're gonna see some of the movement again. This is where she'll gain in the PCs or in the mid fives, as opposed to that interesting, unique movement with the legs behind and look at there just the turn of the upper body the lean of the head, the head and that was all right to certain beats of the music she wasn't just taught this choreography she lives that choreography she does it the way it was intended to be done and connected to the music that's special yeah meet the points technically as well no question it certainly has some of that you can see the skill there but this is more of an all-round skater. Well done. 76.37, her personal best. She should beat that here with this performance. They just right at the very end here. Back to her th theme. The music is called I'm Tired. Beautifully done. Congratulations. <laughs> Seventy-eight point eight six. That is second in the free program. That's beats her personal best with a one nineteen point two zero. That puts her second overall at this stage of the competition. Well, well done. You're fun to watch. Looking forward to the next time we get to see you skate. Next Our next competitor represents Slovenia. 14-year-old Zella Grum, 27th after the short program. She'll need 90.42 to take the lead. Season's best is 
15 year old Zalek Brum from Slovenia. This is a very aggressive piece of music and required great physicality throughout the program. Which is really demanding on an athlete. Here's the double axle. Good speed off the end of the edge. Oiler needs to keep a little bit of momentum going through that. It'll be make, make the jump sequence a little easier. And here is the triple loop, the first one. Triple loop seems to be her best jump. Under rotated, has to step out. But the second one, much better here in combination. Straight up on top of the landing, up into the double toe loop. Those are both under review. And the Wally into the double axle. And hands goes down as well. Just breaking the middle part of the body. You'll have to hold your back really strong on the landings. When you make impact with the ice, it's a bit jarring. And if you hold your body core solid, you won't break forward. There's a look at the change of edge. And there's another feature. That level four spin. So all four features. Here at the end of the program. For 62.69 personal best or season's best as well looking to beat that here and she just might do that with that program when you see these young skaters and when you see them off ice you don't even recognize them because you know they're not wearing the dress and they're you know the hair is different and they're just so young and bright and powerful and wonderful athletes but just normal kids well i suppose at this level maybe not normal <laughs> Because you're really good at what you do. Sees the best, 75.68 for Zalagram. That's third in the free program of total competition score of 112.21. That puts Zala currently in the third place overall. Good progress. Powerful young skater. Well, up next, the, the final skater in group number three. Next, representing, representing the Belgium, 17-year-old Julia Cattarini, 26 after the short program, national junior champion of Belgium. She'll need 88.51 to take the lead. She'll skate to a very famous piece of music by Sergei Rachmaninoff, piano concerto number two.
17 year old Julia Catherini from Belgium finishes her program to Rachmaninoff piano concerto number two. <laughs> well, some nice parts of the program, a little slow in rotation position in the air on jumps. There are eight elements of the review. There's a double axle. You can see just a little bit slower in rotation. Take a look at the triple salka. This is under rotated into the double toe loop, but the mechanics are well done. Rotation of the blade, just under rotated. Here is the second triple salka. Same thing there. You can see your land four. That's probably going to be downgraded. I'll see that in a minute. And then the double flip. Double loop, double loop, good quick reaction. Just had to save that landing on the last double loop. The key for all skaters in the competitive aspect of the sport, learning to rotate quickly in the air. Such an important, everybody can jump to a degree, but how quickly can you spin in the air? That will be the difference, that skill the number one skill you want to learn early on in your skating career. So the triple toe and double axle and the second triple toe under, ro under rotated. Nothing was downgraded, so that's good, but definitely other rotations that will cost the points. a lot of physical and psychological work before the program, you warm up, you're getting nervous, you're worried, you're this, you're up and down and all around emotionally. You skate your program, put all your energy into that program, and then you release in the kiss and cry and put things back into perspective and look at the global picture. That's an important skill to have, and you can see that Julia has that a little sense of humor, a little twinkle in the eye, and skating is just skating. So take it seriously, but not too seriously. In that, in that way, it could be a joy, a joy to your life instead of a burden. That is tough for those skaters who want it so badly. You get you put the success of the sport or the success of yourself more as a burden than the joy of pursuit. Well, here we go. Three program scores. Julia Catherini, 64.30. That is eighth in the free program. Total competition score and not of approval was 102.74. Julia completely sees where she's at, understands the strengths and the weaknesses. We'll go back, take a look at the report card, and get back to work. Great attitude. Great student. Those students you love to teach, you love to work with. As group number four takes to the ice now for their six minute warm up, and take a look at the start order for that group.
Well, perhaps not as bad as the first two groups, but the fog seems to be returning a little bit. And they do have the big fans that have been brought in to try to move the fog up into the ceiling. And from that angle, it's pretty clear. But not easy for the skaters to breathe in such a damp and humid environment or for the judges to see. One minute left in the warm-up. Four groups to come. Still in this event. This is the warm-up of group number four. It's really interesting to watch. Sometimes the skaters will skate by the coach and look to them for some direction or instruction. Some will stay by themselves. But certainly these athletes do not bring the same amount of experience as a senior would, so question themselves a little bit more and need a little bit more information to gain the experience that they can gather here. A 
And it's interesting for a coach, sometimes you have to bring the energy of your athlete up, sometimes you have to bring the energy of the athlete down, keep them balanced. And, and that's not always easy to do, that's for sure. In the moment of excitement, uh, of excitement and nerves. And there is our first skater of group number four. Next representing Croatia, Lina Kusak. 21st after the short program, 15 years old. And leads an 85.27 to take the lead. She just checks the rotation exercises that they many skaters use. She'll skate the free program to X Genesis Symphony part number three by Muse. Fifteen-year-old Lina Kusak from Croatia. Five elements under review. 
Checking for some of the rotation, of course. Warren and Zagreb. If you take a look at some of the elements, there's the triple flip off the top of the program. That is all the way around into the double toe loop, so full credit there. Here's the triple sow cow. Double toe, double loop. Great quick reaction to get that combination done. And that is clean in the system. There's the double axle. Gets the free leg back in time just to ride that landing edge. Nicely done. Good fight, good work. You have to be able to save elements at times. There's the triple sock a little bit later. That and here is double lutz, double loop. The end of the program again. You can see the landings are sort of scratching, so you're not giving a lot of flow out on those landings right into the change combination, which is the level four. So all four features on there with a small positive GUI, so adding the quality points to that as well. With two of her spins at level three, missing just one level, and one at level four, the maximum level, of course. There you go, nice smile. I think pretty happy with that performance. Always want to do better, that's for sure. They first of all, measure how they felt they did compared to their personal best. Then they take a look at where does that stand with the other women in this event. And then that is their fault. There you go. She's thrilled, somebody 8.33. A third of the free program with a 120.01. Second overall at this stage of the competition. Happy athlete, happy coach. And there is a look at our next competitor representing Norway, 17-year-old Mia Riza Gomez, 20th after the short program, the second Junior Grand Prix season, Norwegian National Senior Champion as well, 22nd at Europeans, 35th at Senior Worlds. She needs an 81.78 to take the lead. We'll skate to Samurai Swords, and happiness does not wait.
70 year old Mia Rizal Gomez from Norway. This was a quality, classy, senior program. Very, very well delivered. I think we'll see a pretty good score here. Personal best is 88. Her season's best is 83. She's gonna beat that score by a lot. Let's take a look. Triple lots, huge in the air all the way around. Look at the flow in the landing and up into the double axle. No problem. So what a great start. That was 10.21 for that one element. There is the triple flip, a little bit, has to step out of that, too far forward on the landing. Has to save it. And triple loop, beautiful right on top. With nice stretch free leg landing positions, those are all adding to the quality, the GOE, if you will. Double axle, so three turns right into a nice layback. That layback spin, level three. Beautiful positions, well centered, picks up speed there. Triple Salka, Euler, double flip a little bit later in the program. Want to carry a little bit more flow through that in the future. And a nice closing flying change combination spin level four at the end of the program. Wow, that was great. That was really great. I think this skater's gonna be very pleased with the scores. She's pleased with herself because you can see that on her face. That was a thrill. That's the type of performance you pursue all your life when it all comes together. Her personal best is 88.48, but this is a 101. <laughs> you can see the expression. 101.28, season's best by a mile. And Mia Riza Gomez of Norway is thrilled with a 146.45 total competition score. That puts her at this point in the first place. Brilliant and beautiful. Our next competitor represents Sweden, 16-year-old Nina Fredriksson, 19th after the short program. National Swedish Junior Champion, 32nd at the World Junior Championships last season in Calgary. A 78.34 personal best. And she'll skate to the New World Symphony by Dvorak.
Well, a frustrating performance for Nina Fredrickson of Sweden. A skilled skater, but just a little bit off her timing in this program. Takes three falls, which take the energy out of you for the rest of the program as well. We'll take a look at some of the elements here. There's the triple flip to start the program. Good work. Get the free leg back into the double toe loop. So good start. Triple nuts. Gets that done as well. So off to the races. But then a big lean on that triple loop. Outside the circle, the free leg opens up. Takes a bit of a hard fall. Wally into the triple toe loop. Same thing. Left side opens up. Too far back on the heel. Now you can see the facial expression just getting, oh, uh, this is... This is tough. Into the sit spin level four at the end of the program. Nicely centered, good speed. Well, really nicely done, just perfectly in one spot. But not the performance that Nina was looking for with three falls. The checkout of all the jumps for any skater is the most important, but it doesn't seem like it is. It seems like the takeoff is the most important. But wherever you're at, in the air when you come down you got to learn to pull that out and those jumps are landable if you pull out pull the free skate out push it back the free leg as soon as you possibly can stabilize the landing but you're there for 0 0.06 seconds so not a lot of time to evaluate and consider you have to be it has to be instinctive to a certain degree Seventy five point one two for Nina Fredrickson. That is sixth in the free program with a total competition score of one hundred and twenty point six five. <laughs> That'll put Nina in third place as the coach lifts the heart to say hello. That's awesome. There you go. Currently in third place. Wants a better program. We'll get a better program. No question. Skilled skater. Not her day today. Representing Bulgaria, 13-year-old Leah Lubanova. First Junior Grand Prix event, 22nd after the short program. Needs 104.93 to take the lead. And we'll skate to My Love Will Never Die and Mephisto's Lullaby.
Well, what a nice job by Leah Lubenova from Bulgaria. Wow, great jump technique, very solid. Not a lot of speed throughout the program, that'll come. She's just 13 years old, but a very focused young athlete. We take a look at the triple lutz. Double total, triple lutz on the quarter in the judging system, that's okay. Still well executed. Here's the triple loop here, and that is under rotated. But the basic mechanics of ollie jumps is really good. Triple toe loop just needs to carry more speed into the jump, flow across the ice, and speed on the landing as well. Double axle, Euler, triple sow, really good work on that. Get that triple sow all the way around. And here's this move right down on the hand behind, right into the flying sit spin. And there it is, that comes at a level four. So the entry, the side position there. Oh, jump in the middle, the leg behind, four features, earning that level four of difficulty, and a plus GOE of 0.25, so earning some good points on that one spin. Final spin here, change combination spin level three, so missing one feature for difficulty, with a plus GOE for quality of 0.15. So, gaining some points on quality and difficulty. Well done, big smile. Mission accomplished. At this point, of the season. Oh, really nice, least skilled, well taught, nicely talented young woman in skating and as she grows and continues to explore the flight of the jumps and the excitement and the speed across the ice and the skater will just grow and cover the ice to a much higher degree than at the moment. But for the age of 13, it's very good already. So as a coach, you're thinking, okay, I know where this young woman is at, at the age of 13, which is really good. How do I build this out? As she grows and matures, how do I keep this getting a little bigger, a little bit better, a little bit certainly more connected to the music because 13 year olds aren't really going to connect that often to the power of the music and that takes some growth and maturity as well and some time. You have to be very strategic as a coach, not every day, but throughout time in bringing your skater along, much like a parent, strategically bringing new ideas and new thoughts to your children, but at the right time where they're able to Grasp it. Patiently waiting for their scores. Uh, let me see, there's four, five, six, eight reviews out of 11 elements. So all the details been worked out. There's a downgrade on one of the elements. So that's on the order actually. 84.41, that is third in the free program with a total competition score of 125.95. Well, on your way, Leah becoming a very, very good skater. A little bit more flow and speed and cleanliness on those jumps. Going to mean a lot to the scoreboard. There is our next competitor who represents the Czech Republic 14-year-old Katarina Has uh, Hanusova, 23rd after the short program, second Junior Grand Prix season. And she'll need a 105.20 to take the lead. 77.67, her personal best last year, skating to paint it black by Sia.
Well, what a great skate by 14-year-old Katarina Hanusova from the Czech Republic. So solid technique, didn't waver at all on the takeoff or on the landing, just right in the zone. Lots of areas to work on and improve, but this was about as good a skate as this young woman could deliver at this moment. Triple Salco right on top. Stretch free leg, patience up into the double axle. There we go, a little bit of a lean forward, the hand down, the only mistake that I remember, but triple flip. Maybe touchdown. And then the triple toe loop, that was textbook. Into the double toe, nice. Little forward on the landing. Now that I look again, I see little items that will lose a couple points here and there. This was very cautious into the triple loop. I don't think she likes the triple loop at all. And you can see her just taking a long time preparing for that. And a little turn out of that as well. But that triple salka was beautiful up into the double toe. And this is the final spin here, level four. Right down and then into the intermediate position. For change of edge right there, not easy. Not only a level four, but plus GOE as well. Only three elements under review, so pretty clean program for this young woman. And we've seen the technical panel look at a lot of elements in the previous skaters, but with her, only three. Now 77.67 is her personal best. She'll beat that score without question here. And let's see her reaction. 86.93. Well, kind of, you know, okay, not too bad. And that's second of the free program with a 128.19 for Katarina. And that'll put her overall in second place. Well done. Well done. Experience gained, it's a confidence gained as well. And that completes group number four. Seen some good skating. What I'm amazed at is the depth that we've seen triple luck, triple flip, triple loop really early on in these competitions. So that's good. More depth coming along in the junior women category on the Junior Grand Prix. We take a look at the results so far in the event as I bring up the list. As we go to the ice resurfacing, our video series will take to the airwaves. We're gonna see a mic'd up series with Victor Pfeiffer from the United States. What a wonderful piece that is. I hope you enjoy that. And with Elisa Agafanova, and also with Mark Vulture Rizzo, you'll enjoy that. Mr. Personality, I hope you enjoy it. We'll be back right after this. Huh? Are you Mike Dunbar? No. Uh -oh. You're still safe. No, I am Mike up. You can say hi to our friends. Don't say it now. <laughs> You're now being recorded. 11.47. No, one more minute. <laughs> one minute. Don't do it yet. I would always love to watch skaters in, on TV and then I would always turn it on in the locker room at Worlds and stuff on Eurosport and they would just turn it off and I would keep turning it. Did I tell you that yet? Do you like watching? Uh, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. A little bit and then just stop and focus. Well, I'll have to go down and tell Thomas that it's not six minutes warm up. <laughs> Correct his grammar. <laughs> and then the click hops with the uh, check. Yeah, thank you. I love yours too. Yeah. And then every time you hold the landing position, breathe out, relax, reset. You can do that. And keep attacking, enjoy it. Free of concern, that's it. Yeah. A little bit of breathless event. Just in a controlled way, I love it. And do a beautiful landing position. Yes. Okay. Point, 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 finish it up. Make sure it's more than eight, nine, ten. So count to 30. No, I was just watching you in practice and I was like, that's a man who loves his job. Yeah, I know, I get a little or, into it when they skate though, I kind of move. A little bit? <laughs> I still sometimes have more faith in my students skating than my own. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Breathe out, relax after your elements. 
Good. Hey. I'll see you down there. Right. It was funny when the little kids were plugging the holes in the middle of the rink. And like, I don't, I don't, I don't think people do lutzes and flips there. No. <laughs> now it's perfect. And confident. Yeah. And a sassy person. Person, sassy buddy. Exactly. But fight. Sassy person, that was a good save. Keeping it PG. Lights all up. You got it. Good. He held it. <laughs> you did more than six on the count. <laughs> Nice performance. Great save on the flying set, actually. Yes. Oh, this way? <laughs> Come on. <It's> awesome. <laughs> mm. oh, so close to 70. That's good, it's a personal best. Yeah, that is a personal best. You know what it is? This is way too high. <laughs> right? I so. Like, I, I look like a toddler sitting here. <laughs> No, I go to skate. <laughs> this better twice. <laughs> you know the program. <laughs> Energy is there, okay? Let people like this transition how I like it, okay? Take the judge with you, that they feel they're in the race, okay? That they really feel they are watching the race. Make sure that, please, don't push so much. Curve and up, start the part, okay? There is your time to breathe. My red team. The nerves are there. It's fine. <laughs> That's also fine. Yeah. Did he go home to grab the flag? <laughs> Did you go home to grab the flag? <laughs> it was half an hour inside. No, I could find it in my suitcase. Closer to me, no? Oh, thank you. Put this lipstick, my mouth is drying out, and then there is this man. Difficult part. I feel you present. I feel you on the ice. Good. How's the ice? It's slippery, but it's hiding. Uh, and bang. <laughs> Not so far in the bracket, yeah? Manage the distance there. Yeah? The fox not good. And make those faces smile, okay? <laughs> Breach during the prom. Breach. Entertain. You can do it. Entertain, okay? I was dancing there with you. Yeah. Yeah. Proud of you. Good. It was good, huh? It was in the legs, it was in the control. And entertain. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Base, base. Whoa. Base is bad. Bad plus one and one on the step sequence. And a key points. Key points, base, everything, yeah. Awesome. Good score with like a base. <laughs> Where do you buy the shoes? It's a... <laughs> the other one I like too. This one is too much to me. Too much <laughs> for you? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 it's an order. Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
Per cui vai tranquillo come stamattina senza nessun problema. Mi fa, ma sei una superstar, faccio no, sono vecchio. <ride> Bend, ok, pass e look crazy, dance. Ok, spend time to watch the judges on the ice. Bring them with you on the ice. Ok, make them dance. Ok, don't be boring. Ok, you are training to do this one, you go like this. Guys. Bene, così, capito? Tutto qua, eh? È tutto qua, capito? Presente in ogni passo. Oh, devi essere showman. Sì, sì, lo farò. Capito? Stai con lei però. Stai con lei. One, two, three, four. One, two. Come on! meno 6 punti e vediamo quanto prendiamo con la caduta e tutto saranno 10 c'è il secondo e il terzo qua siamo giocati e no third place è ok gli devi dare il mio numero di telefono he has everything he has everything oh you're lazy you need to give it to me eh. I am the assistant of the assistant and he is my assistant. Yeah? It's a long line.
Welcome back, everyone, to Budapest Hungary final day of competition here. Women's Street Program Group Number Five takes to the ice for their warm-up. It's been really remarkable the depth in this field. The 38 women, the strength of skating in the earlier groups with triple lutzes, triple flips, and you would think that those difficult elements, at least years ago would be reserved only for the final group. And now we are seeing triple lutz, triple flip, triple loop, triple triple combinations in some cases, you know, in the second group out or third group out. So the depth is getting better. So what makes the difference between someone who is skating in the second group to someone who's skating in the final group? Well, that of course will be speed and flow, connection with the music, all the small details of quality that a judge is like an eagle eye, they can see it. And although the skaters may do the same difficult elements, do they do them as well? You know, that detail, that quality, that GOE score is what's really important. And you'll see at a much higher level of delivery in the final groups and in this group as well. But the level of difficulty of the jumping at least in this group of 38 has been extraordinarily deep. And that is very nice to see indeed. And even from countries that, or from skaters that may not have as much ice time. But it's very nice to see indeed. Loop by Lutkova from Canada. Had a rough short program yesterday. Will look to redeem herself here. Certainly a capable skater. Just wanting, searching to gain confidence and delivering what she's capable of in competition as are most juniors at this stage of the development. triple flip there. Nice and soft landing. And if you're in a rink or watching skating live, the sound of the blade is so important to understand the quality of skating. You're going to hear some blade and high quality skating. You're going to hear some blade work, but not a lot. You're not going to hear a lot of toe picks. You're going to hear the cutting, the running edge, cutting the ice, but not a lot of scratching or shoving or snow flying. You saw that jump, just beautiful, great flow, no snow and the jump was silent. You'll hear the pick, and you might hear a little bit on the landing, but that'll be it. But rough skating is scratchy and sliding across the ice. You'll hear a lot of noise and skaters that don't have quite that fine quality yet. But you can only see that or hear that live in an arena. This is the third group, so there are 18 skaters left. And the skill level of this group is quite good. Now whether they deliver or not, it's a different issue, but they certainly have all the skills that you'll see in the next two groups as well. Maybe not the refinement yet, we'll see, find out. Now the 
final minute of warm-up. Important for the first skater, Alexa Volkova, to just take that last minute and gather her thoughts and probably not jump or spin. And the rest of the skaters have a little bit longer, which is, you take a look at it, you wonder whether that's 100% fair, but it's just the way the system is but skating last isn't necessarily easy either, so we have to learn to cope in every situation. for the athletes to clear the ice. As we get started in group number five, the women's free program, final day of competition here in Budapest. Free dance will finish up this event a little bit later today. So here we go, our next competitor represents Canada. 14 year old Alexa Volkova, first junior Grand Prix event, coached by Alexander Volkov. Martin Dejeuner and Stefan Ivars. Needs a 97.01 to take the lead as she will skate to Sign of the Times.
14 year old Alexa Volkova of Canada. And this young woman at the age of 14 seems to have lost her youthful confidence at this point. Not the skating skills, she has the skating skills. Beautiful extensions, some wonderful jumps. We've seen that in the program, we'll see it right now. There's the triple toe loop, a little too far forward, double toe loop. You can see the mechanics of the jumps are there. Double axle, nice stretch in the free leg. Some beautiful movements, some beautiful execution here as we take a look at the triple salkow. Nice and patient, up in there, tight in the rotation, nice. Up into the double axle. But there were a lot of mistakes and a lot of pops and uncertainty and this has simply to do with confidence. Fights for the landing on that, a little under rotated. And look at the beautiful Ina Bauer covering the ice. Some wonderful qualities with this skater, but this is just a matter of mind over matter, and that takes time, particularly when you're younger, when you, want, when you think about, well, why was it so easy before? It will be easy again, don't worry, Alexa. You just have to, have to discover it. You're, you do it every day in practice. How to do it in competition? Well, that's always a mystery for all the skaters. You keep at it, train hard, compete, and learn. And one day, it'll come back. And you can see the eyes of worry on her, just wondering, well, what happened and why did it happen and how do I fix that? Those are questions internal. It's not a technique issue. Sometimes, yeah, a mistake can be, uh, okay, it's a technique issue or there's, uh, there's a problem or you overturn something, but fair enough. But I think with Alexa at this point, she's just getting a little bit down on herself and, and, not, and she'll work through this. Absolutely, she'll work through this. It'll take some time. with any young people, confidence is fletchy, changes from day to day. Free program score for Alexa Vokova from Canada, 81.53, that is fifth in the free program. With a total competition score of 130.98, and that'll put Alexa currently into second place at this stage of the competition. Well, there is our next competitor getting the hug from the coach. <laughs> Natalie Lagerbauer, 19 years of age, 16th after the short program, second junior Grand Prix season. And she'll need a 98.59 to take the lead. Her personal best is 95.83. Certainly has the ability to do that. And she'll skate the free program right now to Shatem by Laura Fabi.
19-year-old Natalie Langebauer from Estonia. Hometown Talon. You can see it's interesting, I was thinking through this program. It has some really elegant moves, but not convincing. You don't see any emotion yet in her face. There's the triple loop with a turn out. Here's the triple flip. On a big lean, hand has to go down. The first two elements of the program. Then comes back with a double triple loop. Maybe a little under rotated. You know, it's in the system clean, that's good. And there's the triple flip a little bit later in the program. And that is under review right now. As we take a look at the triple sow cow. Double toe, double loop combination later. Good fight to get through that three jump combination. They're gonna review that. So there are eight reviews out of 11 elements. So lots of work for the technical panel. Beautiful sit position here. In a change combo spin level four at the end of the program. Nice low sit as well. Some nice qualities in the spins. It needs to be a little quicker and cleaner for sure on the landings to make sure the technical panel isn't looking at eight elements. You've just got them on the board. You've got the scores, so want to clean that up a little bit. Lovely skater. Just some small items here and there to work on. So the triple flip was under rotated, as was the double axle. And those are the two elements, the triple loop on the quarter, triple flip on the quarter as well. So losing some points on those, and then downgrade on the double loop of that three jump combination near the end of the program. So losing the number of points on the cleanliness of the jumps, as a lot of the skaters do. But the basic mechanics are there. Just a little bit quicker in the air, a little bit higher, so that you can clear those rotations and not have to give any points away. Easier said than done, that's for sure. 96.55, personal best, or season's best is 95.83. It's gonna be well short of that, I think, today. Too many little mistakes throughout the program. A really nice skater, but lots of little details to clean up. And you can see her sitting with sort of anguish a little bit and wondering what the scores are, knowing that there were some mistakes throughout the program and just trying to process that. It's always a difficult moment for skaters who weren't happy with the performance and now they have to sit and watch the scores come up. And that's an 85.78. And you can see they're not happy with that, of course. And that's fourth in the free program with a total competition score of 133.65. That'll put Natalie, for the moment, into second place. Well, our next skater represents Latvia, 18-year-old Anastasia Konga, second Junior Grand Prix season, 15th in Linz in week two. She's 18th after the short program. She'll need a 100.51 to take the lead. Her personal best score is 94.80, earning that last season. You can tell by the costume, she will skate to the music of The Greatest Showman.
18 year old Anastasia Conga from Latvia. A pretty focused skater throughout. You don't see a lot of emotion throughout the program. But a little bit on the lean, having to fight for all the landings. Technically today, there's the double axle, patience, triple toe loop, and a little bit far forward on the landing, but managed to hang on. Come down the ice for the triple lots, and again, a little bit on lean, does the turn, keeps the free foot off the ice, into the double toe loop. There's another triple lots, okay, good. Nice in a bower here, things are starting well, but the rest of the program starts to deteriorate just a little bit, just the small details. Good strong back, nice extension of the free leg. And there's a triple loop, over rotates in fact, continues, doesn't check the arms out or the free leg, the stop rotation just keeps rotating into that ball. And there is the illusions. The flying camel, or flying change combination has been at the end of the program, just a level two, so missing two of the features. Be a little bit tired of fatigue part way through that program, and it's just hard to be sharp and crisp on those landings. know what you learn from an experience right after you've had it. It's only a matter of time when your thoughts have settled in and more rational than emotional taking a look at what went on this week and performances. These are for all skaters I'm talking about really. Even the ones that had the good skates. Sometimes we dismiss that a little bit too quickly. But always an assessment about how that week went for you. It takes a couple days to sort of go through that process and take, move, take the information as you move forward. Still early in the season, just in September, and this season will go for a lot of these skaters up until March. So many more competitions, a lot more training. As you take a look at the scores for Anastasia Conga, 76.86, that is ninth in the free program with a total competition score. 122.81. That'll put Anastasia currently in the seventh place. Well, there is a look at our next competitor representing Georgia, 14 year old Inga Gergenze, second junior Grand Prix season, 13th after the short program. Has done a triple axle in competition, not sure that we'll see that here. Well, it's actually your first element on the list. She needs a 92.14, take the lead.
Well, 14 year old Inga Gugedze of, of Georgia, one word to describe this young woman skating is aggressive. Accelerates and uses her momentum into the jumps through the air and on the landings. Does not like going slow. Might be an impatient driver in the future, I don't know, but loves the speed. And boy, does she ever use it well. Double axle into the triple toe loop. And here comes the triple flip. How quick in the rotation, double toe. And then the triple left. Look at the speed coming down, up over the pick. So quick in the air. Punch those arms up into that landing position. Triple loop. Very fast across the ice and very quick into rotation. Wonderful combination of skills to have as a figure skater. Another triple flip, look how fast she rotates, straight and strong in the air, right into the layback. There's the side position, backed. Look at good speed on this. Nicely centered, Beelman. And that layback is in a level four. All four features with a plus GOE, so. Her personal best is 127.4H. Not gonna get that here, but that just shows you the qualities and the ability that this young woman has. When she puts it all together, and gets that absolute clean performance. Watch out. Just 14, highly skilled, bright future. Free program score. For Inga, 105.53, that's first of the free program. You can see her go, hmm, should be better than that. With a 159.85. And this young woman, no question, she can have a higher scores than this. She's really a strong skater. A couple mistakes here or there, but nicely done. She has a big 15 point lead, 14, 13 point lead, pardon me. Our next competitor represents the Republic of South Africa, 18-year-old Gia Quen Isaacs. Fourth junior Grand Prix season. 17th after the short program. She needs a 113.09 to take the lead. Her personal best is 72.73. Skate to horizons of memories.
18-year-old Jean Quen yeah, Isaacs from the Republic of South Africa. And moving the jumps aside, take that out of the equation. Really some beautiful moves, wonderful posture, great style. Now we add in the sport part, had some real challenges, of course, with the landings and was over rotating most of them. We see here the triple toe loop, loop too far forward, gets the double toe loop done, sort of over rotates that. And there's the triple sow cow, over rotates that. And then makes the over rotation into an oiler, into a double sow. Jumps out a little bit later. I can't, hang, can't get the free leg back in time to stabilize that landing. There's the double flip and double toe. More patient with that. But again, slower rotation in the air. More time to check out. Here's some of the beautiful moves this skater has and wonderful posture, full use of space around her. They can do, this is part of the program that perhaps she loves the most. You can see does it so well. And then the change combination has been in the level four, loss of speed here. So that is a minus GOE of 0.25. Remember, the degree of difficulty adds to your points, but the quality of that can reduce or even add on top of that. So high, high difficulty with high quality, well, that maximizes your points on all the elements. It's what you want, it's what you go for. Mm, top seniors get that. Tough to get that in junior. Well, some do, but not many. Oh, great work by the coach, and you can see Gia quite just has a smile, and you know would like to go skate again and make those improvements. Beautiful skater. Some work to do technically. Free program scores for 18 year old Gia Quen Isaacs from the Republic of South Africa. Anxiously waiting for the numbers. 72.05, that's 14th in the free program. Not the technical difficulty that the other women have had to this point. Total score of 118.82, and that'll put Gia Quen currently into 12th position. Our next competitor represents Austria. 14-year-old Hannah Frank, second Junior Grand Prix season, Austria's national junior champion, 14th after the short program here. Seventy-nine point six two, her personal best this season. Was we'll skate to piano sonata, uh, piano sonata number eight in C minor.
14 year old Hannah Frank from Austria brings great energy and delight to her program. Always looks like she's enjoying it as much as we are. Didn't have the greatest skate here. Had some mistakes, but some nice elements as well as we look at the double axle. Triple toe to start the program. Well executed, nice and aggressive. Here's the triple flip. Good speed on the takeoff. A little too far forward on the landing. And this nice layback here. There's the side position. Starts to travel a bit though. Goes to the back. There's the feature. Grabs the blade to the head. And then the Beelman over top. And that is in a level three. So just missing one of the features. Maybe didn't get the difficult exit. There's Triple Saka a little bit later in the program. So has good mechanics. Didn't do them. Didn't do all the jumps with solid technique today. A little bit off on some. But very quick. You can see how quick he, and that's in slow motion, whips into a twizzle. With the choreo sequence here. Had a good short program and maybe not exactly what she wanted in the free, but you can see the skill is there. Lots of energy. You're gonna love that. Well, 82.56 personal best, 79.62 her season's best. And the score today, it's the season's best, 86.13. And that'll put Hannah currently to fourth. So without those mistakes, the score would have been significantly higher, 136.98. Good indication this young woman has some good skill and can compete. And that'll put it into third place overall at this stage of the competition. Well done. Well, next on the ice is group number six. There's two groups left in the women's free program. And there is the skate order for group number six as they take to the ice for the six minute warm up. And we start to get into the, and as I mentioned in the opening of this event, there are eight skaters that are within four points of the podium. And some of those skaters are in this group. So lots can happen. The lowest score out of the short program in this group is 56.01. And the third place score is 61.12. So that's five points out. So anything can happen. There's lots to lose or to gain in a free program. So really, all of the next 12 women are in the challenge, in the hunt for the podium spots. And we'll see what unfolds over the next hour and a half or so. Well, from my perspective, this has been a good day of skating so far. Not everybody has skated brilliantly or their personal best but we have seen more depth in these women than we have in the past Junior Grand Prix. So really pleased with that. And as I mentioned, with these 12 women here all in the hunt for a podium spot, that is a tight race. And that means the gap is closing. And that's a good thing for the sport. And we'll see, I've mentioned also in some of the openings, will there be a non-Japanese or Korean skater on the podium? Now we've seen the Korean skaters and Japanese dominate the women's podium for the most part, which is great because they are great, but it's nice to see some challenges coming from other parts of the world. That's healthy for the sport, good for the skaters. Everyone needs to be pushed a little bit. And all the other nations are the hunters in Japan and Korea are the hunted. That's okay, that's competition.
Beautiful triple left, triple toe loop. And Paulina. see in these final two groups as we did with the last group as well skaters not going to the coaches as often earlier groups perhaps more discussion but these are more seasoned and consistent skaters at this stage Remark and mention that the parents that are watching from home or here in the building or online somewhere, I can't imagine what they feel when they see their, their daughter on the ice competing internationally. Great pride, great fear, great anguish, all those emotions that are not very pleasant at the time, and much will depend on how the child skates and receives the the experience the parents provide so much support of course and commitment sacrifice to support these young athletes and people in their pursuit of a dream and of their passion we thank them and recognize them for that of course There is our next competitor representing Switzerland, 13-year-old Anastasia Bradenberg, 11th after the short program, classy skater, 97.64, her personal best. But she'll need a 102.71 to take the lead. She'll skate to Numakitipa by Laura Fabian.
gosh. 13-year-old Anastasia Bradenberg from Switzerland. I really, folks, don't know quite what to say. You can hear a pin drop. The quality of everything that this young woman did, but you're going to see in the replays, I try to get as much space before the jump and after as well. So you see all the connecting steps, all the detail, all the emotional connection with the music. Yeah, 13 on paper, but well beyond her years. So you see the triple axe, double axle, the maturity of this skater at such a young, tender age. Look at the extension, the free leg after that triple flip and the head goes up and the running steps on the toe there's the triple loop double toe loop again great extension and follows through here's the double axle off the end of the edge beautiful that'll be a triple of the future i would think the triple salcow the quality is just amazing and the beautiful triple loop as well certainly as she grows and matures a little bit more speed and ice coverage will be a great benefit as she moves into senior but the qualities every other aspect of the of our sport it's already there the side position on the layback level four at the end of the program back position grab the blade to the head Beelman barely lift that a little higher but beautiful beautiful skating wonderfully since uh, sensitive choreography delivered with style and class. Just very special performance indeed. Well, her personal best is 97.64. I think you'll see that number destroyed here right now. And there it is, a 118.36. Season's best, you can see her just so thankful. Don't be thanking the judges here, come on. We're thanking you. That was brilliant. 175.51. That was special. That's a moment I won't forget this season. Our next competitor represents Finland. 15-year-old Ida Karunen. 12th after the short program. Needs a 119.51 to take the lead. Best score is 116.22, so certainly has the ability as she will skate to Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen.
Well, another very, very strong performance. 15 year old Ida Karunen from Finland. And all I could think of while watching this young woman in Anastasia Bradenberg as well was these young skaters might be just putting Japan and Korea on notice. We may not be there yet, but we're on our way. We're catching up, we're closing the gap. This is good for the sport. No disrespect at all because the Japanese and Koreans have been so dominant, so brilliant, but they've also inspired a new breed of skater around the world. Still lots of refinement to do and lots of speed to carry on the end of these jumps. A little bit slow and tight on the corner. But the basic mechanics of these difficult elements, no problem. You can see the upper body movement, the choreography is good. There's the triple sakao. Pretty focused to get all the jumps done throughout the program. Fiber under review by the technical panel. But another strong performance. What's nice is the skating and as we talked about already, the depth is stronger, but the competition, the competitiveness is stronger as well. They're delivering what they need to deliver to be competitive. 116.22 personal best for Ida, but 103.81 is her season's best. I think she'll beat that here. Wow, what a competition so far. And we have 10 skaters to come. This is exciting. Anxiously awaiting her scores. But the brilliant performance of Anastasia Bradenberg so far has been the highlight and the standard has been set. And she has the lead with a 175.51. And the scores, wait, at a Karunan season's best at 106.54. That is second in the free program. With the total competition score of 162.55. And that'll put her currently overall in the second place. Not quite the same quality yet, but certainly the content is there. Work to be done. But. Lots already developed and on display. There is a look at our first Japanese skater of the afternoon, 15-year-old Haruna Murakami, 10th after the short program. She'll need a 118.01 to take the lead. She has a 105.71 personal best skating to music from the soundtrack of Australia.
Team York, Haruna Murakami from Japan. You can see disappointment at the end of this program. This is a fierce competitor. Last year, was fourth in the world in junior para skating with her partner, Sumitata Moriguchi. Now, a single skater. So how's that chef working with a partner to being on your own? Is it tough? Maybe there's an adjustment period of time. Rushing that pick on the takeoff, not ready to snap into rotation. Here's the triple sow. Fights to get the free leg back. Triple toe loop gets the free leg back as well. Good fight on that. Triple flip keeps good speed moving across the ice and over the pick. Gets the free leg out. But this was the best combination, I think, in the program here. Triple Salco, great flow. Reloads, triple toe loop. And then moves into a sliding move right here. Nice. Beautiful qualities. And here's the triple loop. Did not lift up very high. Certainly wasn't quick in the rotation, so has to take the fall there. Beautiful skater, no question. But in this field, not just of Korean and Japanese skaters, in this field of skaters, you've got to, you have to pretty much skate clean. They're all doing the same elements. The cleanliness of the program and the quality of the presentation that will make the difference. Her personal best is 105.91. You will not see that here, although you will see a good score. 97.11, that is fifth in the free program. The total competition score of 154.62. That'll put Aruto currently in the fourth place. Our next competitor represents France. 13 years old, Stefania Gladke. Ninth after the short program. She'll need 117 points. Her personal best is 102.97. She's gonna need to really have a great skate here if she wants to take over the lead.
another special, special talent. 13 year old Stefania Gladki of France. Wow, the depth is just amazing. Maybe they don't all yet skate perfect in their program, but you can see the quality as the French team cheering their colleagues on. You see the opening combination, triple up, triple toe. Here's the triple loop on Laleen. Not all the way around that blade, too far back of the heel, too. You want to be a little bit more forward so that free leg can kick back, stabilize the landing. And look at the moves, the speed coming into that triple flip. Euler pushes up into the triple sock out, gets all the way around, nice and done. That took a lot of effort, focus, country, and patience. There's another triple Lutz. Double toe combo at near the end of the program. Certainly as we gain strength, power, more speed, more ice coverage will happen in the future. So 13 years old at the moment. Layback spin level four at the end of the program. Wow. So personal and season's best, 102.97. I think you'll see that score go down now. And she'll get a new personal best. Wow, it's great skating in this group. Tough competition. That's the way we like it. Skating is in good hands with all these young, talented skaters from not just two countries, but from many countries. And that's exciting. So three elements in the jump list were under-rotated. Triple flip, a triple lutz, and another triple flip. And four elements were in the minus GOEs, the rest were in the positive. So maybe not the score that, well, certainly not the score that she's capable of. But more work to be done, but boy. And a great spot for continued improvement and growth. Very classy and exciting skater. And here are the scores for the free program. 105.61, that's the season's best. Little disappointed with that score. But she'll know that once she sees the report card. That's third of the free program with a total competition score of 164.13. And that'll put her, for the moment, into second place. When she takes a look at that report card, she'll see where she lost her points on the other rotations. There's a look at your top five of the leaderboard so far in the competition. And there is Sherry Zhang, 14 years old. Represents the United States of America. Second Junior Grand Prix season, fourth at U.S. Nationals, eighth after the short program here. We'll need a 116.21 to take the lead. She has a 114.03 personal best. She'll skate to a beautiful storm by Jennifer Thomas.
14-year-old Sherry Zhang from the United States. Wow, another beautiful skater, wonderful qualities. On the checklist, I go jumping elements check, spins check, quality check, competition ready, or maybe ready, but that's a half a check because the skill is all there. Look at the quality of that triple loop. Absolutely beautiful. Flip double toe loop, great quality, wonderful extension on the free leg, on the landing. A little bit too far forward on that, loses the balance. There's the triple lutz a little bit later. Again, wonderful quality. So all the difficult elements are there. Look at the speed of that spin. Incredible change of edge. The flying camel, beautiful position, plus the speed. Triple flip a little bit later. Move forward, double axle, and second double axle. Wonderful Ina Bauer into a falling leaf. Boy, incredible qualities. But in this field, you can't make mistakes because there are uh, so many other good skaters. So, and this skater is just in the middle of the pack with them all. Amazing. Wow. Sherry Jank from the United States. A beautiful, wonderful skater. Full of talent and a bright future in the field. So very, very strong. Free program score, 111.34. That is second in the free program. He looks pretty happy with that. With a 170.65, that will also put Sherry currently for the moment into second place overall. Our next competitor is from here, represents Hungary, 14-year-old Paulina Zumani Jezova. Second Junior Grand Prix season, second event this year. Seventh after the short program. Needs 115.57 to take the lead. A personal pass is 94.77. She'll skate to X Genesis Symphony Part Number Three: Redemption by Muse.
Well, this is certainly not the program that Paulina had trained for or is capable of. As we see Alexander Blazhenko in the stands waving the flag. This is a beautiful, wonderful skater. That is very clearly focused not on only today, but on a very bright future. You can see in her mind what she wants to be, who she wants to be, and you saw the detail here at the beginning the focus in the face, the emotion. Up into the double axle. Sets the stage for quality movement and wonderful jumps. Had challenges, no question, throughout the program. There's the triple nuts, triple toe loop that's under rotated. And then there's that fall on that loop that was just so unexpected. And that shook her a little bit. And then just sort of sits down, loses her balance on the flip. You can see the facial expression after that begin to get a little bit more, I don't want to say depressed, but certainly disappointed through the program because she knows what she's capable of. Even then, coming back, fight for a nice triple flip, Euler, triple salco. Fierce competitor, wonderful qualities. Not her day. But her day is yet to come. I am would bet on it. And this will be a young woman that we will see for years to come in the sport. We hope that she stays healthy and happy with her eyes firmly planted forward, not behind. The skater is not defined by one performance, they're defined over time. And you have to spend the time to get to that point. But your heart goes out. For skaters, we've seen such brilliant skaters so far today, even some that didn't skate so well, and your heart goes out to them because you know what they're feeling, because you know what they want. And it was, once again, elusive. Free program, 96 points, the season's best. That's eighth in the free program. Total competition score, 155.95. That puts Polina currently in the sixth place. And here is a look at the standings so far. After six groups, one more to come. Boy, such talent. And as I mentioned earlier, there's gonna be a lot of changes perhaps in the standings. They're all so capable. Well, as we go to the ice resurfacing break, we're gonna show you the winners, the interview wi interviews of the winners of three women. I mean, Nakai, Mao, Shimada, and Jia Shin. Enjoy, we'll be back right after this. So good. その応援していただいたおかげで楽しく滑ることができました。やっぱり世界ジュニア選手権優勝して、グランプリシリーズも優勝したので、やはり今シーズンも絶対優勝したいって思いはあったんですけど、順位に取られずに自分のプログラムを
in in the triple axel. So, shippai shite mo tsugi kara kimochi o kiri tikkaesu. Kimochi o ichi kara tsukuri naoshita no de, sore ga yokatta no kana te omoimasu. I mean, you're such a beautiful skater and you have a really bright future. And it was amazing to keep your focus throughout that program.、Uh, what are you going to work on between now and the next Junior Grand Prix? Triple Axel の安定感ともっといい表現ができるように頑張りたいです。Well, you're a wonderful skater.、Uh, so much enjoyment you bring to the fans, and we love watching you skate. Congratulations、uh, on your win here. And what competition you, will you be going to now? So we'll see you in Istanbul. The champion here in Bangkok, I mean, Nakai of Japan, takes the title. Here in Linz, Austria, with the women's champion, Jia Shen of Korea, who won the event by over 30 points. Just an incredible skate. Congratulations. And I wanted to ask you how you felt about your performance today. We love watching her skate. I mean, she's so beautiful. It's just amazing how, how efficient and how beautiful her skating is and how consistent it is. But I want to ask her what is it that she loves about figure skating? In the first place, I'm going to go to the next place. 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 You certainly look like you enjoy it in performance, and we love watching you skate. You're absolutely spectacular. Congratulations on the win here at Linz. Does she know where she's going to the next competition? Well, we were looking forward to watching you skate once again in Budapest. Congratulations on such a beautiful performance. Jia Shen, the champion here in Linz. Skate with confidence, right? Nice and calm, controlled, confident, right? Stay down on those knees, right? Keep big skating, keep your face up, right? So for now, there are going to be six in each group. So be six in your group, two in your third. Stretch, stretch up. Good. Make sure you keep your back straight and just going right up into it. The shoulder, right? Keep that shoulder out. Really good. Good job. Service, they're going to start right on time, right? So that you know they're going to start at 27 after. Six more minutes. Do a little bit more stretching before we go down, right? Bend your knees, breathe, right? Big strokes, right? Nice big strong strokes, right? A little 
harder. Big deep in your nose. Now, in your nose. Knees up, knees up. There you go. Get the feel of that ice and skate. Don't overthink it. Just bend your knees and get up and into it, right? <laughs> You're fun on your first Grand Prix, Junior Grand Prix, huh? <laughs> that looked great, Henri. You want to do it again? <laughs> Yay! Nice. It's a good job. I'm so proud of you.
Welcome back, everyone, to Budapest, Hungary, the final group of the women's free program. And as I mentioned, the depth of this field has been remarkable. I've been covering Junior Grand Prix for nine years, and I have never seen an event with this much depth. Now, all these great skaters have not skated perfect. That was not the point. The point is the skill level reaches right down into 15, 16, 17 skaters. And it's been quite remarkable to this point. Some beautiful skating, some future champions without question. And now, even before this final group, which are six skaters fighting for podium positions, Grand Prix final points in personal bests. So more to see, two skaters from China, we mentioned both Mark and I, how impressed we have been with the junior teams from China coming out, the men and the women, the pairs as well. They seem to have a new generation of young athletes that are well trained and well conditioned and are making a mark on the scene. And we have two skaters from Japan or from China in fourth and fifth place. Jia Shin of Korea is in first. Ayumi Shibiyama from Japan in second. And Anna Pizzetta, probably the fastest and biggest jumper, both in junior and senior, in third. We've always seen her talent, but on display, a clean, short program. Led the way throughout the day yesterday, or the day before, pardon me. And she's sitting in the bronze medal position. So lots of talent on the ice. And pretty much all the same elements. You're not going to see significant difference. It's going to be who doesn't make the mistakes. Because all these skaters have quality, that's for sure. So sit back, relax a little bit, and watch the future unfold because many of these skaters will be the future you'll see on the Senior Grand Prix Four Continents, Europeans, Worlds, and Olympic ice in years to come. I see one triple axel planned for the free program by Yusung Kim of Korea. As we see the Italian team cheering on Anna Pizzetta who's not really been in this position. Such a powerful skater with big, huge jumps and put it all together in the short program. And I'm sure is a little bit excited about being in a position for a podium finish, but has to produce also in the free program, surrounded by five other wonderfully talented skaters. 
pressure will be on. And here we go. Final group in the women's free program. Podium positions. Grand Prix final points. That's the final few words of encouragement. Probably given from the skater to the coach in this case. <laughs> nice. From the Republic of Korea, 14 year old Yoo Sung Kim. Six after the short program. First junior Grand Prix season, second event, taking silver in week one in Bangkok. She'll need a 115.49 to take the lead. She has a 126.88 personal best. So certainly has the skill to do that. She'll skate to the beautiful and haunting music of the Lark Ascending.
from the Republic of Korea, 14-year-old Yoo Sung Kim. Delicate, yet powerful. And the display of quality elements all the way through the program, of course, opening with the effort on the triple axle. Took a hard fall on that, but did not let that affect any of of the other elements in the program or the sensitivity to, and connection to the music. Little fist pump there. The coach coming off the ice, really beautifully presented. 126.88 personal best. We'll see what this score, how this score compares with that. We take a look at the triple axle. Slow it down on the takeoff here. Good lift off the end of the edge, but not tight enough, quick enough in the air. It doesn't get all the way around. And, has to take the fall, but comes right back with some beautiful elements. Triple flip, gets free leg back, triple toe loop, quick rotation, quick exit. Triple lutz a little bit later, nice soft knees as well. On the landings as you watch here, gets the free leg back and some nice edges. Nina Bauer, ready to do a flying camel. Look at the speed of that, turned out toe, nicely centered, change of edge feature. This is a flying change combination spin level three. So missing one feature on that. Beautiful Beelman. Keeps the speed throughout. Another triple flip, double toe, double loop combination. Little bit scratchy on the landing of that near the end of the program. Here is the choreographic sequence and such beautiful moves and detail with the head and the arms as well. And this is the difference in the top group. Every single note and phrase is choreographed and delivered. Free program score for Yu Song Kim. 116.95, that is second in the free program so far with the total competition score of 176.98. That'll put Yusung currently into first place. Five skaters to come. Next. Our next competitor represents China. 13-year-old Yihan Wang fourth after the short program. Needs 116.56 to take the lead. The first of two Chinese skaters in the final group.
19 year old Yihan Wang who from China, a really excellent skater, did not have her best day. It looks pretty upset coming off the ice, certainly capable of doing all these elements. She opens up with the triple loop, double axle, then the fall, unexpected. Triple lutz, watch how quick in the rotation, and doesn't get the free leg back in time, takes another fall at this point. Very difficult, but she's a real fighter. Comes down the ice, delivers a really nice triple sow cow. Soft knees of the landing, good extension. Then triple lutz, double toe, double loop. She's fighting through the program. Triple flip, double toe loop. And look at this spin here. Beautiful position, fast and centered, level four with a plus GOE of 1.10. So it has all the qualities, all the abilities, no question. The experience, maybe not so much. We haven't seen Chinese skaters on the Junior Grand Prix for a number of years because of the pandemic. We saw her actually in the Kiss and Cry, coughing quite heavily too, maybe not 100%. Yeah, your heart goes out to these skaters who really have such wonderful skills and at the moment they want to deliver it, it's just maybe not always there. But this is part of the process of the Junior Grand Prix. It is about the experience gained and some of those experiences that you gain are often the most unpleasant ones. It's what helps turn things around or helps teach you through experience. And that takes time. Free program score for Yi Han Wang, 94.85. That is 10th in the free program. Total competition score of 155.28, and that will put Yi Han currently into eighth place. Our next competitor also represents China. Shiki Gao, 13 years old, fifth after the short program. And into 116.59 to take the lead.
Peking Yog, Shiki Gao from China. Another very highly skilled and talented young Chinese skater. New to the Junior Grand Prix, both these skaters have not competed on the circuit yet, so this will be a new environment, exciting and perhaps nerve wracking as well. As we see Triple Lutz, hands above the head, gets a free leg back just in time. Patience up into the double axle, double toe loop. Works to get that combination done. And triple flip, hands above the head, too far back on the heel, but quickly gets up right into this flying camel. Great speed, perfectly centered, flexible and strong. Look at that. Wow, back Bielman, not easy. A little bit later in the program. Second triple lots, that was well done. Some nice moves after as well. So some just transitional moves into and out of the elements. You can see that here again. Wonderful qualities. And in the final six, so these skaters are clearly on their way to challenging for podium positions. free program score for Shiki Gao. 100.16, that is eighth in the free program. With a total competition score of 160.56, that'll put her currently in the sixth place. Not the result that both these skaters from China want, but they have set their mark. They made a statement, they're on their way to closing the gap. I look forward to seeing them in the future. Our next competitor represents Italy. Powerful 16-year-old Anna Pazetta, second junior Grand Prix season, third after the short program, led most of the way in the short. 115.87, she'll need that to take first place at this point in the competition. She has 114.44 personal best. She'll be skating to winter, crying violin by Vivoli.
Well, you can see the disappointment on Anna Pizzetta's face at the end of that program. <laughs> Sitting in third, coming into the free, skating in the final group. And we've watched Anna with great interest, the power that she possesses, and put together that short program. It was simply brilliant the other day. And so wanting to be on the podium. And maybe using a little bit too much of that power. The triple loop gets a little loose in the air. Too far back on the heel on the landing. Double axle oil. Look at the speed across the ice on that. It's just incredible. But slips off the ed landing edge of the Salkow. The Ina Bauer here. Watch this move right in here. Nice, right into a slide across the ice. Back him with another double axle, huge. Great flow out, traveling three turns in the back camel. All the qualities are there. And the ice coverage is more than most other skaters. But you also have to hit all the elements. And today was not the day for Anna Pizzetta from Italy. Her heart goes out to her as she continues to pursue that perfect program that is so elusive for so many skaters. And you can see right now, not really wanting to think too much about this, just frustrated and angry and mad, all the emotions that you would feel after not delivering what you wanted to, what you so earnestly had envisioned. Podium finish, 94.72, that is 12th in the free program. No question that is going to hurt to this really brilliant skater. 155.84, that's ninth overall. There's no way to take the pain out of this, except to know there'll be better days for this very powerful skater. Our next competitor represents Japan. 15-year-old Ayumi Shibayama, second Junior Grand Prix season, sixth in Linz, second in the short program here. And she'll need 115.34 to take the lead. She has a 103.76 personal best. And she'll need that right now.
so patient, so precise. And will that little slip at the end count as a fall? It does go in as a fall here in the system. It will. How unfortunate as she comes off the ice with a smile on her face. And I'm sure Mia Hamada, her coach, is sitting at home going, no, no. What a beautiful performance. So clear and so clean in choreography and precise on the elements as well as we take a look at some of those in the program, the triple Lutz, triple toe loop. That's just under review here. Now the triple loop. Nice, soft knees, hold that long edge. And the triple salka sort of coming out of nowhere, a little Wally into the triple south takeoff, the triple lutz a little bit later in the program, pushes up for the triple toe loop. That's on the quarter mark in the judging system. And then watch this right here, just no. And change the choreography into <laughs> some pose at the end. But you were caught. <laughs> Counted as a fall, but still the scores are gonna be good. 121. 0.30 personal best. Her season's best is 103.76. She'll destroy that number right now. A great performance. And she is currently in second place with a 61.65 with one skater to come. These scores should keep her on the podium. What we'll color of medal? We'll find out. But you have to like the attitude coming off the ice. Having a good skate and disappointing, but keeps it in perspective. Maybe just wondering how much that will cost her. PCs are in the high sixes, so that is a good indication of a good score to come. You saw the technical elements being delivered. Points attached to all of that, but the PCs Composition, presentation, and skating skills. Really solid. And here are the scores for Ayumi Shibuyama from Japan. Free program score, 114.94. That's third in the free program with a total competition score of 176.59, and that will put her on the podium. She's currently in second place overall with one skater to come. She's thrilled. Tears of joy. A special moment. And there is the final skater in the women's event. The leader after the short program, 15-year-old Jia Shen, first. Win winner of Lintz, week number two in the Junior Grand Prix. She need only needs 110.74 to take the title. She has a 130.95 personal best. She'll skate to Not About Angels by Birdie.
Well, there are not a lot of words in any language to be able to describe how beautiful and delicate, powerful and strong and sensitive that program was. Pure quality for every step, every move, every hand movement, every technical element, and all connected to the music, to each phrase, both of body and of sound. Amazing. Just 15 years old, such a bright, bright future. As we take a look at that double axle out of that Ina Bauer, riding the edge, the momentum, continuing the transitions in and out of every element. So nothing stood by itself. It was always something, an ornament attached to entry or exit. Triple flip, double toe, double loop. Such a strong, straight back, good body core, safe in the air, good reload for the triple lots, triple toe combination. And look at this move right in here. Around the world, it was deep, deep in a bower. Continuing on here, following the head, following the hand, a beautiful split jump into a lunge. I mean, all the detail and sometimes a simple movement, but the quality of that movement, so beautiful. And the reverse back, Beelman to finish the program. Brilliant. 15. And I would guess, probably the champion here. Wow, look, 130 is her season's best, 136 is her personal best. And this is the season's best of 134.49. Champion with a total competition score 200.74. A high five from Coach. Okay, the other one as well. That was brilliant. Beautiful skating. And we thought maybe perhaps there would be someone who might go on to the podium other than Japanese or Korean skaters, but not so. Both those countries so well prepared, so well trained, they once again own the podium. Here in Budapest. And that concludes, there it is, the standings, Jia Xian, Yusen Kim, Yumi Shibiyama, top three. Anastasia Brandenburg of uh, Switzerland was absolutely stunning and was just off the podium by one point. And this field of skaters, deep in talent, they didn't all skate well today, but there's a lot of talent there and it'll be a lot of fun to watch these skaters continue to develop through their junior career. Well, that concludes our coverage. Just looking for the start time of the ice dance. That concludes our coverage of the women's free program. The final event coming up, the free dance, and that will start local time here in Budapest at 1720. Make sure you join us for that. For all of us here at the ISU, I'm Ted Barton. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.